Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. My name is Brittany and today's video is all about my everyday Z palette. So I have this little Z palette and inside is a collection of contour highlight and a lot of eyeshadows and I keep them in here and this is what I use on an everyday basis. These are most things that I grab for. I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow on a daily basis or a lot of products on a daily basis so this is kind of like my life palette and I just keep it in here and it sits on my vanity. So yeah, if you want to see exactly what is inside my Everyday Z palette, then just keep watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on social media. Lots of stuff going on over there, so let's be Instagram and Snapchat friends, although is it just me guys or like are you kind of over Snapchat? Like I'm all just about Instagram stories now, I almost forget to use Snapchat, but Instagram for the win? Let's just get right into this video. Okay, so this is my most favorite thing. Now, you can't buy this specific one. I'm gonna try to find something really, really similar. I got this on the Makeup Geek website. This is not made by Z Palette itself, but I'm gonna find, if I can find this online, I will link it down below or find something very similar. Um, so basically, it's just this medium-sized palette and it's a hard case and then inside it has a huge mirror. So that's why I love it, it is perfect for travel. Now let's just look inside this little baby here. Here it is, ah! All of these eyeshadows are so janky and used and loved and this is dirty and I should have cleaned it before I started this video but I didn't because that's this is real life, people, this is real life. So yeah, this is kind of what I use and it's so easy because it's like if I go anywhere, if I travel, I just take this and it's so simple. So I am just going to take you through everything that is in here. So it's basically my must have eyeshadows right now, pretty much. That's exactly what this video is. My must have eyeshadows and a couple little extras in there. So yeah, I'm just going to start showing you which ones I have. Okay, the first one I have is White Lies by Makeup Geek, and just look at this. Like, there's hardly anything left. Clearly, I have to put a Makeup Geek order in. So, this is just a matte white, and I use this every single day. I have to put it along my brow bone. I don't know what it is. I have a lot of veins and freckles on my eyes, and I just need like a white base up there. It really just defines my eyebrows and makes my eyes look a lot lifted. I have hooded eyes, so I really like to put a white up there just to make sure that they look high and lifted and bright. So I literally, this is my most used eyeshadow ever, and it's a boring matte white, but this is my favorite. It is very bright. It is not chalky. This is my favorite white. Next, I have Beaches in Cream by Makeup Geek. This is just, again, I've hit pan on it. It is well loved. I need a Makeup Geek order, clearly. This is just like a creamy beige bone. It's like a skin tone color. And basically I use this above my, this is my blending shade. So I put my transition color on and I just use this to kind of buff out the edges and really make sure everything is so blended because it's pretty much the exact same tone as my skin. So it's, you kind of need that in your collection, a skin tone color just to really make sure that all your shadows are really blended. If you make a mistake, you can kind of take this light color and just buff around the edges and it really blends everything like a dream. I love this. Speaking of transition colors, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Birkin. This is my favorite transition color of all time. It's new herb, but I'm already making a huge dent in it. It is this perfect pinky neutral brown. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. I have it all over my eyelids today. It is just a really beautiful pinky warm, like soft, it's just like a pinky brown and it's so wonderful. It just defines the crease. It's so creamy and buttery, the texture. It just melts over your eyelids. If you're fair like me, you need to get this one. I like it better than, um, <sighs> Soft Brown by MAC. What's the one from Makeup Geek that I'm obsessed with? Creme Brulee. 
I like this one better because it has a bit more rosiness in it and just gives your eyes like a really beautiful glow. Next we have Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Fawn. Now this is just a nice warm brown. I use this as my crease shade so I just put this directly into the crease. It's nice and warm but it's not too warm. It's not like an orange brown or like a reddy brown. It's just like a little bit more on the warm side. I do prefer warmer eyeshadows to cooler eyeshadows. Well, actually, no, I have no idea. I just like what I like. Um, but I love this one in the crease. I think it's just a perfect crease shade to define the crease. Next, we have Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma. Hit, who's got the keys to my bimma? Oh, no, that's Sim Simma. Who's got, okay, I'll stop. Um, Shimma Shimma, obviously hit pan. I love this one. I use this as my inner corner highlight. I have it on my eyes today. Basically, every single day I put it on my inner corner and like a little bit on the inner part of my lid and I can highlight the brow bone with it as well. It's a pinky champagne, so if you're fair, this is the perfect inner corner highlight by far. You can also put it on the tops of your cheekbones and put it really everywhere. This is Makeup Geek Wild West. Again, this is a pinky brown, but it's just darker than Birkin. I love this to put on the outer corner and just to really, this is like if I want to take a look from day to night, I smudge this kind of along my lower lash line, put it in the outer corner. It really just is a natural brown to deepen up your, your eye look without being too smoky. So none of these eyeshadows are anything dramatic. They're all still very um, natural and neutral, but they have a wide enough range that I can take my look from day to night. So I don't have this on right now, but if I were, I'd just like put, smudge it underneath, smudge it in like the outer corner and you're good to go. Then I have Makeup Geek Americano. This is obviously a dark chocolate brown. It's pretty neutral. It's a little bit pinky, but for the most part, it's pretty neutral. I use this as eyeliner, mostly. Um, I rarely use it like as an eyeshadow unless I like put it, smudge it underneath my lower lash line to really smoke out a look. But I use this as an eyeliner, just as a nice soft eyeliner, so I love this one for that. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows, and it looks like nothing in the pan, but this is Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Belize. I believe I can fly. No, it's a, sh it's like a just, it's a perfect neutral brown, but it has a beautiful sheen to it. It has just the most beautiful like shift. And if you put it all over your lids, it just gives your eyes like a natural definition with a little bit of glow, a little bit of intrigue. It is just the perfect all over the lid, no nonsense color. I believe I can fly. This is Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Magic Act. This is a very bright gold. I don't wear this one that often, but if I want kind of just like a night out, really fun look, I put this all over my lids. You have to have like a gold in your collection that, and this is my favorite gold for sure. Ooh, to go with that, this is one of my favorite shadows and it's called Starry Eyed. And this is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. It's similar to the gold one, but this is like the champagne pink version. Oh my gosh, if you put this on the inner corners and like all over your lid or even just in the center of your lid for like a halo eye, this is so beautiful. I wore this on my brother's wedding. I put it on the bride. I put it on all the bridesmaids, just all over the lid. It's just the perfect pinky champagne shade. Then I have Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Grandstand. This is like a rose gold. I don't wear this as often as the other ones, but again, for something a little bit more fun, even if you just smudge it under the lower lash line, it's just like the perfect... It is like a really nice rose gold shade. So it's just really beautiful for the summer. Gives you like a little bit more of a darker look or you could just like put it underneath or on the outer corners. Love it. So that's it for eyeshadows. Then I have my contour shade, which is Makeup Geek uh, Contour in Bad Habit. Hip pan. I'm actually not wearing any contour today, but this is my favorite contour because it's so natural yet gives you that defined look, but no one will call you out for having like a bad contour or a line across your cheeks. So because it's that warm tone and it's not that gray undertone, it's very natural, almost like a matte bronzer. You could use this as a bronzer, but I just like to use it with a fluffy brush underneath my cheekbones. It is a contour I use every single day. And then the last spot, the last section of this palette, I usually put like a blush or whatever. But right now, since it's summer, I mostly just wear bronzer and highlighter. So I have taken out the Anastasia highlighter from their glow kit. And this is the shade Bubbly. This is such a beautiful highlight if you're fair. It just looks, it just gives you that like intense pop. You can use a tiny little amount of it and it'll look very natural. Or you can pack it on and you get that wet 
look, which is what I love in the summer. And you can put this as an eyeshadow, as a highlight. I have this on like my shoulder, like look at it. Yeah, yeah, I have it on my shoulder, my, my collarbone. So gotta have a highlighter in there. And this is my favorite right now. So that was everything. These are all the things that are in my Everyday Z palette. These are my most used eyeshadows and my favorite contour and highlighter. So that's what I use every single day. I really hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below about maybe an eyeshadow that I am missing. And there's still a little space where I can move things around. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you like that video, another one will pop up right here. Be sure to click it so you can continue to binge watch all of my videos or click my face, which will just get you to subscribe to my channel. It is free 99. Doesn't cost you a thing. It will just keep you updated every single time I upload.